FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman off the uh, Tommy Jr. show, uh, the market kickoff at 9 o'clock. I'm coming here at the 10 o'clock, a great show. I'm coming in at 10 o'clock for the Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down 85 at 32,640 after the, um, the payroll count that was really high. That should have knocked the market down. The Dow should be down 380 to 420 right now with the S&P down 40 to 50. And in fact, what we are is we're down 84 points because this cluster formation here, you remember the Chapman wave, we're always looking for a peak D. That's where other things can happen. That's where you can take a little time to um, to to kind of digest the gains and, and kind of reinstate any potential upside action. Or that's where it starts to fail. So it's a very critical moment. We're looking at the S&P. The day is young. And I suspect that there will be some further negativity over the day, but there could be uh, some surprise balances. Look at the S&P down 21 at 41.30, stumped down to 41.07. It was holding really well uh, earlier on before the uh, news came out at 8.30 Eastern time. Got a peak D. What's the objective in the chap move to get you to the fourth highest peak? We're there. Then other things need to kick in. Where are we in the weekly chart? We're at the chap wave inside track repellent zone. I'll be talking about these and, and teaching them both. I'll, I'll be doing it in my my uh, Tiger Financial, my Tiger Technicians Hour coming up straight after this, as well as my Wednesday webinar, all day webinar with the chap wave techniques. Check it out. Front page of TFN. Looking at the QQQ uh, trading right now. Uh, down three and a half and 320.85. A leg E almost at the 200 period exponential moving average. Um, took really nice profits uh, in, in one of the, just a, sh a little bit of a position in one of our two positions here in the QQQs and the positions that we have. We're looking at the IWM, uh, Russell 2000. Nice green candle, but it's, uh, it's still down. It's down four cents at 189. Look at gold. Gold was acting really well yesterday. And then all of a sudden, it gives back a chunk. But it's still making higher highs and higher lows. Is this the big move that's going to go much higher? I'll talk about it when we get back uh, for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. Um, we've had some really good uh, good positions. And I'll be talking about short-term positions as well. As soon as we get back for my Tiger Technicians Hour, I'll show you live what was going on in the E-mini. Um, and I hope you have a great weekend. Check out the front page of TFNN for my for my webinar coming up on Wednesday.